I want to spend money on me, I'm gonna let him. Life with Flav would be a lot of fun. You can tell by his clothes, like he's a touch like of an eccentric too. So I think we'd get along really, really well. And I have some 34 double D's which are all natural. I think that those are total assets to attract his attention. No, excuse you, excuse you. Sorry, no, no. You can go outside. No, 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 no. No, no, no. He'll be, he'll be on. He'll be with you in just a minute. They all need to go on home now because Flav is already my man. This is my mansion and my money. Do you know that basically she still has feelings for that guy? Gathering information is very, very valuable and is a key part of my strategy. Divide and conquer is very, very important. I've, okay, that's what I need to know. I'm gonna make sure to get the intel that I need to get this done. Then it will just be me and Flav. <laughs> That'll be good. New York, she looks like Shrek. She needs to go home. I mean, it is a competition. For love, you just have to do what you have to do. Going through people's luggage, cutting up their clothes, like, you know, you know when I came out of the shower and opened my door, the whole house was in my room. I'm like, what's going on? My jacket is missing. Sorry, I have to laugh just because, uh, just the fact that you would think I would go into your room, that you think that your room is even that interesting for me well, to go Well, it's not like in. I'm just putting it out here. If I'd taken her jacket, I would have said yes. I took your jacket, and I threw it out in the street, and I drove over it with my car. Because you fucking are a wolf in sheep's clothing. You guys are just jealous because all of my friends that know me tell me that I remind them of Beyonce. So you can all- <laughs> You are fucking crazy. You are crazy. I'm not here for the girls. I'm here for Flav. So I'm not gonna let their, you know, whatever it is that's upsetting them upset me. I love your son. Seriously, I do. I think for New York to say that she was in love with Flav, proves that she needs to be certified. I mean, the mom looked like she was gonna gag. 34 double Ds, all natural. 26, 36. The only 26 inch around anything on Hottie is her neck. The purpose of you being here is to prepare fly chicken. I have a question. Yes. Can we call, uh, like, call and have it catered or no? No. I know that my chicken is going to be the best because I was like raised like vegetarian with a lot of fresh vegetables, so I incorporated vegetables into my recipes. I went to the microwave, put the chicken in, and there was a button that said, chicken. I just want to say, whoever number eight was, that wasn't serious, was you? I'll be glad if New York goes home tonight. I'm really tired of seeing Shrek walk around the house. You're welcome to be a guest in our suite. There's space here for Flav if he'd like. I have a hat there on the left for him to come and, you know, utilize this room whenever he'd like. Well, keep so the dream alive while you're here. <laughs> I certainly will. For the will. remainder of your stay. <laughs> Which will be, you know, until as long as I'd like that I do consider well, you a guest it. and you're welcome I to come and I appreciate it. That's why I can stand here. Hi, we have my over here. This is my real hair. Oh! You know, like, cinches in there? Oh, this is it. No, right here. Can That's I see? Absolutely not. In the home of the Things going home tonight. All right, I wouldn't mind if New York went home. You guys aren't gonna talk about me like I'm not in the kitchen. I'd like, rather have you out of the picture. Like, New York ain't going no motherfucking where. Well, go ahead. Why don't you finish your statement? Your point? I wasn't talking to you. Watch this. Now, if EJ was cooler, he could have had these, okay? I watched you on TV on Blind Date. And the way you treated my man, that wasn't cool. I'm not looking for a woman like that. That's some gold digger type of shit. Cha-ching, cha-ching. You've been playing me all of this time, and that ain't cool. Slave doesn't seem to understand who I am, and I do believe that I was the best woman for him in the house. Um, and I think that he will realize that in later on in life. Monique, I just want to say that I'm so excited to be here with you. And that I brought a token of my appreciation. Just thank you. I hear overnight, and it's going to be outdoors, so I know we're going to a spa retreat. So I start to get my things together. 
not get to bring that fur into the wood. Probably. It's not return fur to the habitat, plus it's faux. It's faux fur, it's not real. I arrived at camp first, and it is my worst nightmare. There is no spa, but there is also no electricity. Like, how am I gonna plug in my rollers? Do y'all see this bitch? I feel that you should have brought more than just a log in your own personal item. I brought more than one log. I also brought a bag of candy. Yeah, I was the last one chosen, but I'm gonna go out there and whip their little prissy behinds, and then they will realize I should have been chosen first. You know, as a direct descendant of royalty, I know all about etiquette. But I looked to my left and saw that Heather had on hooker heels. You would think she might know better, but maybe that's her day job. Somebody stole my dresses. That is so sad. No, why is it all I just have to win this competition. If it means hiding a dress, that's fine. I grab her clothes and run those suckers downstairs. She's like, oh, my, oh, my dress, I know! Oh, I know! <laughs> Those dresses mean the world to me. Uh, no, don't cry, don't cry, wait. Wait, I need my rollers, wait, let me get my rollers. Regardless of what Heather has on, the goal was to rattle her nerves so I could maintain my strength and win. <laughs> ah. I think you've regained your composure quite nicely. Um, since finding your gown, I should have hidden it better. And next time I'll that be sure to do you. that. That bitch stole my dress and then waited to tell me as soon as we sat down to try to mess me up on the date. Shatar, would you like to spend uh, the evening, have some dinner, and um, and spend a little more time? It would be my pleasure. Well, I'd hide all your night because I'm going to hide it from you. Don't be mad because you didn't win. All the other girls in the house are upset and up in arms that I took Heather's little rags. Please, not everybody has to be anorexic. I'm not anorexic. I didn't oh, say that you were. Does this look anorexic? Oh, my eyes. Oh, my eyes. Oh, my eyes. I totally stomped Heather and left her in the dust, but Dara is a whole different opponent in every way, and I had to figure out how to out-strategize her. My mom was a physician, and she was rear-ended by a vehicle. She's just very... Yeah. Thank you. She's... That was faker than the weave she had in her hair. Chitar, I would like to offer you this invitation. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to finally being around my type of upper crust people and to be away from the hookers and of the house. This is gonna be fun. Ah! Oh my gosh. It's real trippy. <laughs> Ready? Yes. We're okay? Let's do it. One more time. <laughs> Here, you just pull the sheet off. Okay. And it'll reveal the uh, the picture of the winery. I love it. All right. Okay, great. Pretty clear? Yes. Voila! <laughs> Safari reminds me of a refugee. She looks like she just escaped from some sort of refugee camp, and I do feel sorry for her sometimes. I was spying on the other team. I wanted to see what the competition was coming up with. I just saw their dress. It looks like some tissue from the roll in the bathroom. <laughs> Safari, I'm gonna shake your hand. You will pull your clothes, your shoes, your purses, anything that you want to donate. A red carpet gown from an award show. That funny smell. Did you say let me smell it? This one I won't be able to take. Do you know where the picture is? I don't. Are you supposed to ask me like 20 times? Dude, she found that shit under your bed, fool. Are you kidding? I'm gonna find out. I don't like to be accused falsely. If I'm gonna be accused of something, I better have done something. Wait, she's Look. talking about me? She yes. said she thinks I'm sneaky? Yes. And you have everybody in the house looking at me thinking that I'm taking their stuff? That is really wrong, and my feelings are sincerely hurt. I don't appreciate it. The time for these fake people, fake <laughs> hookers and whores up in here. Today, someone stole Laylene's pictures, and they were found under your mattress. I can absolutely say I did not do this. Now, we don't have any proof that you took Laylene's pictures, but the only thing we have to go on is history. And history says that you're a thief. You ladies are expelled. Thank you for the experience. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Girl Scout honor, Shatar is totally innocent. I was falsely accused today, but this is not over. Whoever really took that picture is going down. Do you really have a 28-inch waist? Yes. Is that hair your real hair? Yes. Do you know that everyone thinks you're crazy? Yes. <laughs>